And myopia isn't that hard to understand, but it can be hard to believe in yourself that this is something that you can do, that will work for you. So in this video, I'm going to talk a bit about self-belief and self-doubt. Hi, I'm Jem and I'm following Jake Steiner's End Myopia Method of Natural Vision Improvement. It's all based on science, not magic, and I'll pop some links in the description down below if you'd like to find out more. The first step with End Myopia is getting your head around what you need to do. Understanding differentials, understanding normalized, understanding what your diopters are and how to measure them, and what you need to do in order to start improving your vision. But once you've gone through all that and learned the basic idea and are ready to start, the next step is overcoming self-doubt. It can be easy to say, oh yeah, well, this worked for him, but will it work for me? Maybe you've been trying to do in myopia for a little while now and you're not seeing much in the way of results and you're starting to get discouraged and thinking, there's just no point to any of this. I'm gonna fail. Six, bad, bad. This is a legitimate feeling. And in fact, over the course of your end myopia journey, you might feel this multiple times, as well as going through periods of high motivation and enthusiasm and confidence. It's natural. Overcoming self-doubt is important because when you're in a period of self-doubt, you're more likely to let your habits slip. You're more likely to sit on your phone a lot more. You're more likely to just stare at screens and not go to the effort of going outside because you're in this mindset of it's not really gonna make a difference anyway. Going outside, going for a walk, it's not going to fix anything. So I may as well just sit here and scroll through my social feeds. So since low self-faith creates bad habits, it's really important to find a way to build that self-belief. Because when you believe in yourself, when you believe that you can do it, when you believe that your actions make a difference, you're more likely to take productive action and continue to take productive action even though results are not immediate. And that's a challenge. You will work potentially quite hard at this day after day after day and a week might go by and not much improvement. And you have to have the self-belief to say, tomorrow I'm gonna do it again because I know sooner or later I'm gonna see results. And that takes faith, faith in the system and faith in yourself. So here are some things to think about, to consider when you are feeling self-doubt. Firstly, this process isn't about you. It is nothing to do with your personality, with how good you are at things, with how much money you make, with how successful you are, with how many friends you have. It's got nothing to do with you. It is to do with biology. And if you have eyeballs, then your eyeballs are gonna work a certain way. Like, unless you are actually blind or something. If you have pretty standard run-of-the-mill eyes, they're gonna work in pretty standard run-of-the-mill way. And we have that information from Jake explaining how our eyes work and what we need to do in order to reverse our myopia. So in fact, you don't need to trust yourself at all. You just have to understand that this is the mechanics of an eyeball, is how it works. You don't have to trust yourself to turn on your car. Basic premise, you use a key, you turn it or press a button, car turns on. No active self-faith involved here. And you have to translate that into your eyeballs. It's not about you, it is mechanics, it's biology. This is how it works. Do you wanna use it or not? The next thing to remind yourself of is that this process isn't about how good you are. It is about stimulus. Stimulus, stimulus, stimulus. As long as you are focusing on what stimulus you are giving yourself, sooner or later this is going to start working for you. You just have to stop thinking about, have my efforts yesterday manifested in some progress today? It's not about the short term. Don't focus on progress. Focus on stimulus. Because if you're focusing on progress, then when you're not seeing progress after three days of what you feel like is solid good habits, you're gonna say, oh, it's not working. I'm not doing it right, it doesn't work for me, I can't do this. And you're gonna throw it away. Don't think about progress. Just concentrate on the stimulus you are giving your eyes. Day after day after day, just the stimulus. Don't measure your success by your progress, 
measure your success by what stimulus you gave yourself. Because your eyes want to heal. Your body wants to be whole and healthy. And we have these incredible self-healing systems. When you cut yourself or graze your knee, you don't think, gosh, day after day after day, I'm gonna have to not scrape my knee on gravel in order for this to heal. I don't know if I can manage day after day after day not to scrape my knee again or not to slice my hand with a knife again. You just don't do that. You don't do that harmful thing. And your body has this incredible self-healing system where it recovers and your eyes are the same. They're not healing because we keep damaging them day after day after day. We do the thing that hurts them. We need to stop doing the thing that hurts them and they'll do the rest. The problem is we keep doing the things that hurt them, which is mainly screens. So again, just focus on your stimulus. It's a very simple equation. Your vision is the result of strain and stimulus. So just work with that. Strain and stimulus. And it's normal to need a little bit extra motivation to give your faith a little bit of a boost. We are so lucky because Jake is providing us with resources for this all the time. My favorite thing to help me when I'm feeling a little bit unmotivated within myopia is to listen to the short-sighted podcast hearing from other people who have made really significant progress and hearing Jake talk about things like he adds some real excellent advice back into those podcasts and things that we probably already know and it's just really nice to hear it again and be reminded oh yeah this is pretty straightforward really or sometimes it's things that we haven't picked up on before it's new great ideas from from Jake and from other people who have done this and finally, if having belief in yourself for this whole journey back from wherever you are to 2020 is a lot to sustain, then just give yourself the belief that for one week you can manage your strain and give your eyes good stimulus. For one week, can you sustain the effort required to make sure you're giving your eyes a healthy visual experience, which is a good dose of distance vision? I know that's not easy for us all because of work and such, but if that's you, then are you making sure you're wearing differentials on the computer or no glasses if that's where you're at and staying on the edge of blur and having breaks? Because it's possible still. So if you can commit to just one week at a time or maybe a fortnight at a time to give your eyes good stimulus and take care of your strain, that's all you have to do. And every time you reach the end of that week or that fortnight, I personally prefer a fortnight, but whatever works for you, just recommit to that. You don't have to look at this and commit to being an amazing superhuman with amazing perfect habits for six months, a year, three years. Just this week, can you do that? If you have a bad day, that's okay. Just see how many days out of seven you can get good. It's not an all or nothing system. This is real life. We have our good days and our bad days. That's fine. You don't have to believe in yourself that you can work a miracle, that you can do this thing that you've been told for most of your life is impossible. All you have to do is believe in yourself that you can manage your stimulus one day at a time, one week at a time. And I know that you can do this. So give yourself a chance and you'll see, you've got this. Thanks so much for being here. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps me out and please remember to hit that bell button as well to be notified every time I post, which is on Thursdays. I'm working really hard at this. I will see you next week. Bye. Overcoming periods of self-doubt is really important because when you're in a period of self-doubt, oh my gosh, I've come in here to film and oh, it's so hot. I'm sweating. Ugh. I'm gonna have a sweat moustache for half this video. I'm gonna take my glasses off right here. Ooh, now I can't see what I look like on the screen there. Oh well. And if you have eyes, you have eye biology. You don't have to trust yourself to turn on your car. You just, you know, you put the key in. If you have a keyless car, maybe, I don't know what you have. Maybe you don't even have a car. Okay, I'm getting off topic, but. Does that noise again?
I have the numbest feet. Oh my word, that's gonna hurt. Ooh. Get them out there. Oh no, I'm too low. <laughs> Okay, I think I can continue now. My legs are at a manageable tingling level. Okay, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Is that even the right way around? No, that's the right way around for me. Blah.